How many turkeys did I- Didn't I let the- Didn't I only mark the adult lambs? I thought I marked the adult ones. Yeah, these are adults. And I guess we could, instead of killing them all, we could geld them. Were these- oh, these are all my turkeys. I didn't realize that. We, we don't want to kill them all. I'm going to leave two breeding pairs of turkeys. Oops. I right clicked again. Lambs are not adults. Oh, they're not. Red is babies. Oh. Yeah. What do you call an adult lamb? A you or a ram? Oh. Okay then. We kind of like, I don't know, I've just call them lambs. <laughs> That's usually see Okay, I, I, I understand. Donkey. Do -dum -dum -dum. Too many pigs. Yeah, so, like, growing up, when, when you would do, like, all the the farm animal sounds, you know, we just say, like, lambs say... What, what do lambs say? You hope I have storage and barrels for all of that meat. I think we have storage and barrels for all of it. Yeah, sheep go ba. But anyways, I didn't even learn that lambs are called anything else besides lamb until like a few years ago. Like, you versus ram, they were all just lambs to me. Lamb equals sheep. I guess they are the same, aren't they? I don't know, I was not raised on a farm. <sighs> Let's see. What was I just doing? I was thinking about making more pots and things. Make green glass pots so we at least have pots queued up. Make green glass pots. If the amount of large pots is less than 10, let's make that less than 15. Okay, so we have at least 15 large pots, like empty pots hanging around. I think we'll be good. Glass pots are the equivalent of barrels. A lamb is like a foal or a cub. It's a baby name. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind, because I don't know what I thought a lamb was versus a sheep. So I did see that we had we have cats as well. Um, critters. This cat adopted somebody. Stray cats. You don't have too many cats, it's mostly just turkeys. 
and... And yeah, just animals. It's animals. Yeah, I know, Sir Ice Mage. I, did I mark it? I didn't mark it to be killed, right? I just marked it for gelding? Yeah, okay. I don't want to kill anybody's pets accidentally. Also, you can't slaughter their pets. We can only geld them. Denied. I deny your request to join my fort. You nominate yourself? For what? Oh, to go to the pungent. You pungent yourself. <laughs> Oh, wait, where do we strike Black Zircon? Ooh, look at all those gems and things. Alright, we've almost got the floodgates in. Almost. You deserved it. <laughs> and no worries, Sir Ice Mage. No need to be sorry. I would rather know that I accidentally marked something incorrectly than kill somebody's pet. Okay, there's a lot of good stuff down here. So, about those levers. I was thinking we could put them here. I just need them to get rid of this. Higher priority for sure. Yeah, we have 24 FPS right now. Is bad. The sheep says it's bad. Bad! I can't... Bad! There we go. Bad! <laughs> if you keep a lot of goblins in cages, can they ever escape or do they become objects until released? Frank, I'm pretty sure that they just stay there. I've... captured some... critters. I've got myself a pet troll. It's a superior quality troll. <laughs> um, I've got a pet anthol. Onafif... Onafnif... The human bard. I've got a pet... Ropamata. The human monster slayer. I've even got a pet dish mop over here. <laughs> you worked very hard making that superior quality troll. I think it's actually saying it's a superior, superior quality cage. Superior quality troll cage. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I just need to fill this in. This like little tunnel that I dug. I regret digging the tunnel. I regret it. What blocks do we have so many of? Granite. All right, so time to put this all back together like Humpty Dumpty. I believe I put like a pillar there, which means we should have a pillar... ...here. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's Gabbro. I want granite. Since this whole area seems to be made out of granite. A pillar right here. Granite. And a pillar right there. Also made out of granite. And if we scoot down here, beep, 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 beep. Yep, yeah, that looks right. Superior cage, superior troll. Definitely. I find this, like, really hard to look at. I think it's all the stuff that's scattered about. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Okay. Granite. Granite. 
Granite. Alright, so down here we've got these little rooms. They've got two sections of two by two hanging off them. So like this should have a two by two here. No, it's not quite right. Because this should be with a one wide gap. Yeah, no, that that's right. We have a one wide gap right there. Okay, cool. For a second I thought I had it wrong. Granite. This piece is granite. This comes out. Just gotta fill it all back in. You're watching my stream while digging deeply and greedily in your own fortress. You've already dug through all the caverns, so next up is the Magma Sea. A sea of magma. Good luck. I've never been that deep. Where do they put the beds on this side? Facing the lava, of course. Do we still have doors available? I feel like I should make a work order for rock doors. Specifically, if the amount of rock doors available is less than 20, make 10. Because we're always running out of doors. And it kind of drives me bonkers. All right, throw some granite down. At some point I'll go through and actually smooth this and, and make it proper. I think that's right. We're supposed to have a little gap right there. It's hard trying to mirror this on the other side as is, but then the fact that I can't see this at the same time that I look at the other side, it's it's very difficult to do this. My brain finds it disagreeable. You can design a small zone for dumping next to the stairs on each level and set any annoying stones as trash. Right. I did do that. I started doing that, and then I cancelled it because the dwarves weren't taking care of themselves. <laughs> Don't trash the lever. I learned this weekend that if you highlight a lever with the dumping tool, they'll actually dump the mechanisms inside the lever. They won't tell you they're doing it, but they'll just make the lever ineffective. Okay. So, now we can throw down some beds. We can put a bedroom... Two... We can make four bedrooms. Designate four more bedrooms. Yeah, my game is really laggy. It's pretty bad. Oh, 
Oh, I missed one. Actually, these can be designated bedrooms as well. I don't know if I designated the ones down here? I did. Okay, and I put the beds, like, right there? So I guess that would be here on this side? Like there, and right there. I'm glad I did all the planning off-stream. I really wanted to... dig it out. Like, do all this off-stream. But I, I talked myself out of it because I was worried that something like a Forgotten Beast might attack. <laughs> and then I wouldn't be able to share it. Which is exactly what happened. Yeah, let's just keep using granite. Just whole stones of granite. Ugh, itchy. Slantray said I'm not allowed to scratch my head. <laughs> I even got the finger. Don't scratch your head. You pulled a chest and forgot to take a lunch break. It's never too late to take a lunch break, Sparker Ruster. Symmetry is tyranny? I mean, maybe a little bit. One, two, three. But at least for the sake of, like, what I'm trying to build here, I, I do actually want some symmetry. I've already used up a bunch of granite blocks. Now I just feel like I have to commit to it. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. That'll be good. Yay! You built the one that I wanted you to. I love it when they do that. Okay, now this comes out too. So it opens up into here. We have three pointy edges. And then this is all open along this wall and towards those back bedrooms. Yeah, so once we finish this section of wall here, I think we're done. Yes. And this too. I gotta close this up. But it's almost dead. How was it 4.30? You'll be slowly tipping inside your bed. See you on the other side of the chair. Alistair, good night. Good night. Sleep well. Today has gotten... It got away from me! It's been six hours. Oh, whoa. On, in OBS, when I looked over, it was... You've been live for five hours, 55 seconds... Sorry, five hours, 55 minutes, and five seconds. In like 30 seconds, it'll say five, 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 five. I'm an adult, and clearly you don't find that exciting. It is not exciting at all. The magma river is looking spectacular. I really like it. You know, the brook might thaw before that I finish doing this section here. <gasps> I forgot about my this thing down here that I was building. Okay, so now we have a ramp. That starts here. Oops. It starts here, drops down, and drops down. Perfect, I think.
So the water will choose to go this way. Knowing that I have to pump it back up. Also knowing that I built a hallway where I was intending on building this wraparound pump thingy. Maybe I'm going to reverse engineer it. I just wanted it to flow directly back into it. Of course it connects right there. Why why is everything in the wrong spot? Okay, what if I did it right here instead? That's my well. Plus that isn't where I dug it wasn't where I dug at all. <gasps> I got it! I know what to do! I think. Do I know what to do? I don't think so. <laughs> These are the same level. I was gonna say, let's channel and put a bridge, and then we can channel the water in there, but that won't work either. Because this is the same level as the water, dang it. So I feel like I should make some stairs that go up and then like close this back up. Let's do that. That's, I think that's the easiest thing I can do. It doesn't involve making additional pump stacks. Locked in this location. Brr. I guess we're gonna close that, huh? Apparently you did a bunch of work while you were spacing out. That's good. At least you did a bunch of work. My kitty cat is doing a snore. He's snoring real hard. <laughs> I hope we have enough mechanisms to link this lever to all four of these floodgates. Come on, no! I'm one mechanism short. That's frustrating. Make Gabbro mechanisms. It's on the list. You wish you could sleep as good as the kitty? I know, right? Sometimes he wakes me up with his snoozing. Like in the middle of the night, he'll be snoring so hard that he wakes me up. <laughs> Dang floof. And the reason why no one's making blocks is probably because everybody's hauling blocks. Look how slow they are. Blocks so heavy. <laughs> They're crawling! They're inching like little inchworms! Do they have plenty of wheelbarrows? Yes, they do. Like, there's wheelbarrows right here. <laughs> that nobody's using. They realistically don't have to go very far. They're just taking them right here. <laughs> oh man, that's a big pile of rocks. Have a good one. Sleep well. And have a good Tuesday tomorrow, Pinan.
Stockpiles of 10 wheelbarrows assigned will be a good way to move stones. This nade dump does not use wheelbarrows. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're doing right now. Some of them are using wheelbarrows, others are not. Most of them are not. Like I said, there's one right here. Does this at least condition them at all? Like, carrying these rocks around? Strong dwarfs are strong. It does make them strong. Okay, cool. It does. Did you hear that? You're all getting strength training. They're so slow. And there's still so many rocks left. I think I might... clear the designation because I want them to do other stuff for a while. Good job making some space, though. We got... we have room now! We can start moving some... things downstairs. Oh, look. Someone has a wheelbarrow. That kid's a smart one. <laughs> what a smart child. question is, what the heck are we going to do down here? Make that kid the new manager, right? I know. Oh, do we still have a manager? Meat hook? Yes, we do. Make Gabbro mechanisms. Is that crafting? What about floodgates? Oh, obviously not carpentry, he's a mechanic. Make Gabbro mechanisms. He's on the... bench. Who's the mechanic around these parts? Looking for a mechanic. Drinking, sleeping, storing things, resting, dumping. Make mechanisms. V Vukar, another rush, the mechanic. Okay, it's on the list. Yeah, it's mechanisms is the mechanics workshop. Who would have thought? Does meat hooks still have proper eyesight? Good question. I would imagine probably not. Vision is somewhat impaired, so it, like, half-blinded. Half-blinded them. Ooh, my FPS is, went up to 30 for a second. You struck pyrite. Oh yeah, what am I doing here? Oh yeah. Let's just use schist blocks to make these stairs, because we have them right here. Alright. So next I need to figure out where that... water pathway I'm making is going, so let's see. pause for a second while I'm doing this. Looks like we're gonna have to make another pump stack over here. Which is annoying, <laughs> but doable. We're gonna want to... I carved that on the wrong level, dang it.
Maybe we want this to go a little farther, actually. Like, more like here? I'm getting... I'm getting confused. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Mm, wait a second, we only want one level of pump stack. I don't want any of this. Yeah, there we go. So how are we going to do that? I think we're going to want to mine this through. And then give them a little staircase. Minus staircase down through the levels to here. Connect these. This is just so we can build the pump stack. We're gonna have to fill it back in afterwards. And I totally messed this up. <laughs> so we have to fill this in too. We've got diorite on the floor here. Let's just use diorite blocks. Don't have to walk very far. Hi, tiny pupper! I have a high population. It was higher! I had actually like 203 dwarves. And now I don't. Our population was thinned out slightly. For reasons. Ah, oh, Valvinar's throwing a tantrum. Oh, please don't start it again! Oh, let's just arrest them. There's no open cases. Our mock is pleased. Uh, yes, we had one of our dwarves throw a tantrum. Speak of the devil. Not this dwarf, a different dwarf. They died. Um, the tantrum turned into... It, it was actually started in the tavern. <laughs> um, yes. It got kind of crazy. A bunch of dwarves got involved. Probably like 40, maybe 50 of them got involved in, in the fight and 20 something of them died? Might have been more than that actually, who got involved. It was a spectacular brawl. Yeah, it thinned our population a little bit. And we lost a few more dwarves to a forgotten beast attack. Camtrums in temples are fun and a good band name. <laughs> This is a pretty decent band name. Is this a bad time to have them come in smooth stuff? We'll do it anyway. We struck rock crystal. You know, I want these gems, so I'll mine them out. We struck rock crystal times two.
We struck more rock crystal. Look at that. This is just making more work for myself. <laughs> more work indeed. I'm sure stop telling me when they slaughter animals. Your first fortress, someone tantrumed and kicked over an altar, got cursed to be a werebeast, and then that went about how you'd imagine. They became a werebeast. The Kia has reverted to a wild state. Oh. Okay. You just have, like, a captured Kia on the front door. The old front door, anyway. <laughs> Whoa. It's getting smooth. What is Sphalerite? Sphalerite? I don't think I've ever found this before. I'm curious. Mind it out. Okay, we've got here diorite. I'm just gonna fill these back in with diorite. They should use the blocks that are like right next to us here. Oh no, I think I built this in the wrong spot. <laughs> Erg. I totally did. Mm-hmm, why'd I put the stairs there? That's a terrible spot for the stairs. Like an absolutely horrible spot. <laughs> okay. Go me. Uh, Contempt for and B Zeld. Thanks for the follows. Welcome, welcome. And makes zinc? I don't know. You. Miasma. Cool, we got a mechanism. Alright, so that goes to the last one. So I don't know if they've done it. They haven't linked any of these yet. We're going to call this. Quad Magma Gate. Brook. Quad Gate 1. Gate two, quad gate three, and quad gate four. Did I have something to do this afternoon? <laughs> Did I have something to do? Do I know how fluids work? Somewhat. I somewhat know how fluids work. <laughs> I would say that depends on your inquiry. Okay. Screw bump. If we want this to go this way, that means our first channeled hole needs to be the far one. Which makes... This one. That one. Don't do that yet, because they're trying to fill that in. Uh, here. There. Here. Oh, that's the bottom. This doesn't need to be channeled. <laughs> <laughs> it does need to be mined out, though. Because I need the water to... ...go there. This needs to be filled in. Actually, let's... ...mine it more, like, right here. 
because that's far easier to fill in. We can start with this. Diorite. Diorite. And then these two pieces need to be filled in as well. And diorite. Oops, that was me. Sorry. How can you reshape pawns on the surface? It kind of depends. Like, what are you, what are you trying to do the leather working? The, the ram and the leather worker are fighting. Oh, they're trying to geld the lamb. <laughs> I see. And the lambs are resisting. Things are getting interesting. Oh, Heliodor. What is Heliodor? We're finding some cool rocks down there. Oh, okay. So they did this. Okay. So. Ooh. There are cone clusters. Let's grab those too. So yeah, what I want them to do is just fill this in here and here. Then they'll take the stairs to go over the top of this. Then we should just be able to fill this in without any problems. I don't care what you use. I'll leave it open for the time being, because I still have to be able to access this. Oh my. What a tunnel they've found! It's quite the tunnel! Okie dokie. That's also troublesome. You had some dwarves get wounded by cats who didn't want to be gelded. <laughs> You want to make an amorphously shame shaped pot pond into a rectangle. Okay, so for that, let's look at my body of water. So for this, this is probably what you're looking at with your pond. If you like go down a sea level, you should be able to see the depth of the pond and it should say like six or seven, something like that. That would be where your water is deep. You can't walk through... Chat said earlier, you can't move through water. You can swim, but you can't walk through water four or higher. So that's not where you want to dig. What you want to do is at the surface level where like you don't see the numbers. That means you're looking at the top of the water, like the, the surface of the water. You go M, U, and you would channel it from here. And they'll just come and they will... Dig only that top layer out. They'll, they'll dig the floor out and the internal bits of the layer beneath them, but they won't mine it out. So that's how they can stay safe and you can shape the pond. It is kind of weird to figure out how to do that. You can actually look at the Dwarf Fortress wiki. There's a pretty good picture on how to shape or how to dig. I'm finding a lot of stuff. It doesn't totally matter that we're finding this stuff here, except it's going to be filled with water. And we won't be able to access these materials, so I need to figure out how we can access them. I guess we could build a staircase down, couldn't we? Flash, hello, I hope you're enjoying your lurk. And thanks for the follow, welcome, welcome. Quite the... the vein they've found. It's 
So the green designation is actually auto mining. So they'll just keep mining it as long as it connects to a vein of valuable materials, they will continue to mine it. Whoa, we have a ghostly beekeeper who has risen to haunt the fortress. Cool. I like how you've just thrown some teeth <laughs> into a tomb. I, I like that. What happened to the coffins that were in here? They just... Oh, they threw it on top of a coffin. Gotcha. We must designate a tomb. I did. Not. Not enclosed. You need that tool in Rimworld? Hi, little goth. Well, I mean... Oh, we're, they struck more stuff. They're finding all the things down there. They're making my job kind of difficult. Linked buildings, we've only linked one of them. But we still can't unleash the lava. Aha, that's what they found. Morion. Looks like Black Zircon. I suppose we could build another bridge. Just like right across the way here. It doesn't matter. Except it's we don't have a spot to connect a bridge to. Well, let's work on it. Okay. So we're going to deconstruct the wall right here. Nothing should happen because we're looking down at lava. I'm too busy to punch in you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mentioned earlier that I am on a new medication for ADHD. Well, it's not new, but I'm on a higher dosage, and the like the hyper focus is real. Also, look at this. Look at this cat sleeping with his face in the blanket. That's a proper face plant. Boop. He had a big tuft of hair. <laughs> is my cat shedding? He looks so soft. He is really soft. And his nose is running. He's such a soft cat. He is like a sh like strange fur. He doesn't have like you know the big fluffy long haired cat coat, but he also doesn't have. Um, like, short hair either. Okay, I just turned the camera, and now you moved out of it again. So he's somewhere between, like, a long-haired... He's, like, a medium-haired cat. Let's call him that. And it's very soft hair.
I know. He he's a little sick. <laughs> what you doing, kitty? Bim 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 bim. Okay. We gotta hurry up. These dwarves need to move faster. Move faster! The problem is we're moving at half pace because we don't have frames. Spring has arrived. Oh, okay, so maybe maybe the brook will melt before I even finish this project. <laughs> uh, are you melty now? It's springtime. No, it's still frozen. We'll have this for next year, though. Hi, Lang! How are you? Okie dokie, they found even more. Woo! Scooped! Every time. <laughs> Hello, Belle! Thank you very much for the raid. Oh, Brotato, I was almost expecting Dwarf Fortress. How's it going, Belle? I appreciate your raid. Welcome in. I am Jess. I'm playing Dwarf Fortress because I can't stop playing it. It's a good game. <laughs> Send help. You're going to do dwarves, but you have an extreme case of the Mondays. You know, I actually don't have an extreme case of the Mondays. I actually don't. Ugh. I do have an extreme case of I need to be posture checked. Thank you for that. I hope your stream went well, despite the Mondays. I'm in the process of doing a few mega projects. A few mega projects. I ended up building a pump stack to make a waterfall, and then I ran out of water because my brook froze because it's winter time. <laughs> it's a damp ice wall. Does that means melting. No, it means it's sitting next to water, doesn't it? <laughs> they're so gonna get stuck in there. I'm telling you, they're, get, they're gonna get stuck. I'm trying to build like three projects at once. I'm trying to make a magma pathway that will melt the water outside of this brook. So that way it fills this back up. And my pump stack will start working again. And we'll also have water for drinking and whatnot, because it's starting to get a little low. And I'm also trying to build simultaneously like a lava pathway so I can dump water underneath the brook. Here. We're almost there. We're just waiting on some dwarves to link levers and whatnot. And I'm also trying to build A water circuit. Or a loop. A closed water loop. So that way, if we're low on water again, it doesn't just run off the map. It would instead... Pump stack has to pump from below, doesn't it? It does. So I don't even need to build a pump stack. Oh yeah, I do. I have to send it up. No, I don't. No, I don't. I can just close this off. Sweet. So... It's, it's a very intricate system, like, it is hard to explain what the heck I'm doing. To be quite honest. But I will do my best. Okay, let's start from the 
sort of beginning here. This was the original project. We built water wheels to power a pump stack right here. This pump stack and our screw pump, which connects to a pump stack, which brings water all the way up to here, where it then passes through the gaps in the wall and falls through these grates, misting the dwarves all the way down. It works. It works. It actually works. And until it falls here, these pump stacks then grab the water through the gate and pump that water here through these open spaces, which collects here and overflows down this hallway, which then passes over these water wheels and powers this mechanism this shaft here, which powers these pump stacks that do the pumping of the water from the waterfall. So it's like a whole system. Problem is, we ran out of water. It like fell off the side here where I carved fortifications. So instead, I'm trying to make... Yeah, we need to close this. Probably start in the middle. I'm trying to make now a closed loop. Perpetual motion machine for the drain. It's pretty nifty. Yes, I agree. Correct. Perfect. I can't mine this yet. I, I need to close everything and make sure this is all tight. Watertight, I mean. If it's not, then it's, it will not work. Oh no. How dare you get stuck. This dwarven child just trying to haul rocks and got stuck behind the wall. Thank you again for the raid, Belenir. I hope that you get lots of good rest and the Mondays pass. I recently spoke to my psychiatrist who is responsible for issuing me ADHD medication. And we agreed to raise my dosage. What that has done is taken it from like a, a dosage that didn't really affect me too much anymore to like suddenly I have like all the focus power, which is how I'm still streaming. I was late to my stream, actually, because I, I started hyper-focusing, like, very heavily on what I was doing before the stream. And I was just over here like, I don't care if I'm late. It's hyper-focus time. Okay, so we're still missing the fourth gate. The question is, can I make it so the whole waterfall is a perpetual motion machine? The next big question is, can I do it again? Uh, pff, Duh. I think the next big question is, can we build this in a timely manner so someone doesn't get stuck behind the wall? A bunch of rocks? You know what the problem is? They're trying to collect this bunch of rocks. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw Gabro floor down and Mine this out. Hi, Pandorific. You wish you could hyper focus on command. I know. I know. Me too. Trust me. <laughs> Valvinar slipped into a depression. It's okay, Valvinar. I promise.
Whose side do I have the levers on? It doesn't really matter. Let's put it there. Alright, so what I'm doing is building a bridge over the lava so that we may reach this area here. <laughs> so I can then remove the temporary bridge and build a real bridge. Hi there, Tycan. Hello, hello. Yes, I too wish that I could hyper-focus on command. This, ooh, a masterpiece prepare goat heart stew. Yum. My favorite, prepare goat heart. I'm kind of worried, though, that they're going to do something stupid, like when I, I tell them to remove the floor, that they're going to fall into the lava. <laughs> Like, I'm low-key worried about it. <laughs> Hyperfocus. When it happens, is like a superpower for productivity. It really is. That's, that's what, it's a hyper-focus. It's just, you, you can't control when the hyper-focus strikes. You might be able to predict when it will strike, but you can't control it. And I'll tell you, like, it was- it was such a strong belt of hyper-focus that I almost cancelled my stream. <laughs> like, chat. I have to cancel the stream, I'm sorry. The hyper-focus is so strong right now that I need to get all the things done while I have the superpower. <laughs> while my superpower is enacted, I need to take advantage of it. Sounds like a manic episode, to be honest. It does, but... In in my case, this turkey is following them around. <laughs> in my case, it happened because... One, I increased my dosage... Of my, my ADHD medication. And I also had an energy drink this morning. So it was like... I was at peak caffeinated levels, plus then my, my medication started kicking in, and so, like, the intersection of caffeination and medication was just, like, PRODUCTIVITY! I spent a week doing nothing, then 12 hours of coding out of nowhere. Sounds about right. You were almost three hours late today because of that. Yep. I was a good 30 minutes late. Let's see if anybody trapped themselves... in here. No! Good! Okay, one more block to fill in. We want a block on this side, a block on that side, the wrong rocks, who cares? I kind of care. It's okay. My channels are in the incorrect location. I dug them all incorrectly. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, we gotta put the floors down. Dang it! It's not the end of the world. Another masterpiece has been cooked. Hyperfocus make it hard to multitask, or do I find myself spinning many plates expertly? Well... Depending on who you ask, a lot of people will say that multitasking isn't truly a thing that the human brain can do.
because human human brains like don't really multitask. Instead, you, you're you're task switching, and it's like task switching is the the process of like doing one thing and then shifting gears in your brain to do something different, and. When you do that, you're sacrificing focus and concentration, and... As such, like... Some people, like, some experts and things will say that multitasking is not a thing that... The brain can actually do without actually sacrificing, like, in certain places. Um, but for me, what it kind of does is... It more so feels like a big swelling of motivation and, like, creative energy. Like, suddenly I feel like my... my limbs and brain is just like overflowing with things that I need to do and it's like I have to do it right now at the expense of everything else <laughs> and so sometimes it could be I'm working on multiple things at once for instance yesterday I took my medication with the intent to work and while I while I was Waiting for the medication to kick in, I, s I decided to clean. What ended up happening, instead of my medication kicking in and s switching to working on stream stuff, I ended up going hard. <laughs> very, very, very hard on... Um... I'm realizing I need to fix this pipe. On cleaning. Seriously, I... Cleaned for like four or five hours yesterday. And in that case, I wasn't focusing on one particular task. It was more like hurricaning around the house. <laughs> Just be like, I'm gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. That. This, that. <laughs> I, I seem autistic slash ADHD. There are, there are a lot of overlaps with ADHD and autism. I do have, I do have a cousin that's autistic though. You know what, at least it helped. I heard that somewhere about the fighter pilot thing. I'm a little weird today, thanks George. <laughs> thanks George. <laughs> It's why you turn the radio down when you're lost, to free up brain power to focus on your vision. Yeah. What about tasks that are automated like breathing? Personally, I think the cerebellum is a redundancy of the most physical tasks the rest of the brain also does consciously. So that's... those are actually different parts of your brain. So one of them is more like... Well, I watched a video on this that did a fantastic job of explaining the difference between like active tasks and like, the subconscious tasks. So some of them are just learned. Slash instinctual, you know? Like, you don't have to think about breathing. I mean, unless you're doing something specific with breathing, like breathing exercises or holding your breath or swimming. But under normal circumstances, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about how to, like, stand up or walk. I mean, again, under normal circumstances. Those are all just learned behaviors and patterns or instinctual. And you don't have to think about doing it. It's more things that require like active forward thought. And it uses different parts of your brain. What Elisa Dell said actually. Hi, 
I seen both. Task switching burns you out super fast comparatively. I don't find that surprising. I get... I have a lot of issues with task switching myself. Okay, so this end of the screw pump is going to move water up. Through here. And then dump it right there. So on this level, I need a hole here and there. Yes. I don't actually think I need this far. Let's leave it. There we go. Okay, so we wait for them to build this. And I need to close it off. Wait a second! I forgot the power. <laughs> I forgot, we need power. That's why I dug this path out. Okay. Well, fine then. I think we'll want to go like that. I need them to mine this section out first before we put the pump in. Yes. Now you're breathing manually. Sometimes it's good to think about your breath patterns, though. And so task switching is actually an executive function. Notice how I'm over here, like, unable to have a conversation and do this at the same time. <laughs> so that's part of your executive functioning. So task switching, especially for ADHD folks, can be really difficult and really exhausting. And so I have a lot of trouble with it. I prefer to set aside a large chunk of time to work on one thing and, like, usually one thing only. And I have a very hard time, like, having multiple tasks going simultaneously. So much so that, like, projects, not even something from for one sitting, like, actual multi-day projects, I have a very hard time working on multiple of them at the same time, like, across, like, a week or two. Which is not good for content creation. Yeah, your stomach turning your food, your intestines processing it. Exactly. Mm hmm. The bottleneck on the brain's function seems to be working memory equals info you can you can keep ready to go instantly as opposed to pausing a beat to pull info out of your short term or long term memory. When task switching, you have to juggle info in and out of your working memory to make it available for the task. I, I actually really did- I saw a video on this. I'm gonna grab this, like, one cl this cluster here and then fill it back in. I can't remember who it was, but it was a great video on, like, multitasking, task switching, and the difference between exactly this. Like, things that require using your short-term and long-term memory versus things that your body just does or things that you just know how to do from learned experience or instinctually. OK, 
Okay, we're slaughtering animals, and my FPS has gone up from like 25 to 32, one, 31 or 2 ish. So maybe it's working. Your autism gives you incredibly high task switching momentum compared to others you talk to. Uh, inertia. Meaning it takes you a lot to stop? Question mark? So we're just plopping them down. I, I'm the same way, Tiny Pupper. I, I really am. I'm the same way. I have a very hard time doing that. And like, sometimes Solentre will try to get me to do something. Like, hey, you have 30 minutes, so why don't you go do that thing that you need to do? And I'm just like, no, are you, are you kidding? No way. Did I just build this in the wrong direction? I did. No, I wanted I wanted to go this way. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't want you to be there. I want to channel this out. And from here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a Bless you, kitty. Mr. Kitty. Uh, here, this... A gear here. And I learned that they can walk through this stuff. So we're gonna put a gear there as well. And then finally, with this last turn... The horizontal axle that goes vertically to connect right there. So this should power our first pump. And so they'll build this and dig this out, and they'll build this, and then after they're done with this, I can connect a gear into the open space right there. But I- oh, I thought we were running the game the whole time. I think we can work on- oops, this machine though. Screw pump. Alright, so let's see. This first one is going to go exactly like this. It pulls from the skinny end and spits water out of the flat end. So if we move up a level... Yeah, we're going to turn it around. It's going to pull water out from this side. Is it? Nope, I... It's not working! It... Don't let me place this because there's a hole in the ground. <laughs> but I think it just has to do where my mouse placement is. Like, I could place it here, blocked at this location. No, that's not true. It needs ground or to be near a machine. I think I have to have, I have to have the screw pump underneath. Which is somewhat annoying. <gasps> Some migrants have arrived despite the danger. Despite the danger? What is the danger? I need more RAM too, Pandorific. There should be a cat pat. There should be a cat pat. I don't have enough emote slots. Weather danger. I don't... I don't know. Oh, it's springtime. Do you think the brook has thawed yet? No. <laughs> Why would it? Ooh, did we finish this? <gasps> it's linked to all four gates. So I think what we could do now...
guys get kind of crazy. Do you want to unleash the lava? I don't know if I want to unle unleash the lava yet, actually. I could maybe be talked into unleashing the lava. Nope, I'm not ready to unleash the lava yet. We can do that on a different stream. Despite the danger, it's fighting words. Yeah, what danger? They're talking about the volcano. Maybe they're talking about the volcano. It doesn't seem like it, though. Maybe... Oh, because the queen died. The queen died. Maybe because... The queen um, kicked the bucket. Living in my fort. Now there's just, like, a bias among... Among dwarves. In our faction that, like, we killed the queen. This is a queen-killing fort. So they built this now, and now I need to drop a gear on top of that gear. Okay, they can't reach that. It's fine. Second. This is not fine. Actually, I think it is fine. I don't know that water can pass through this right here. Can water pass through this? If we have a screw pump, it can't because there's a diagonal. Okay, that's a problem. This is a problem. I didn't think about that. How can I keep water out of here? I don't think there's anything I can build for that. would be to dig down and then back up because that would create like a U-bend with water pressure in it. Take the pipe a level up and over. Or down. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's exactly what I just said. Pump sec we will be pulling the water out of the space as soon as it's there. Yeah, if the water goes this way falls down the hole and into this. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Are these connected? Open space. Okay, no. How long have we been paused? Hi, Nesteros! Hello, hello! George, enjoy the lurk. I bet, despite the danger, is because we killed the queen. On Lurk, who cares if that bit floods? Lurk. <laughs> exactly. My thought as well. Who cares if it floods? Okay, so what we've done here, since we ran out of water, which, it would also be really funny if, like, suddenly the water thawed and, like... Oh, I thought I saw the wheels turn. Um... Since we ran out of water, this is... This was my... decision on how to create a closed loop. Is there more blue in my hair? No, it's the same blue as before. With the little bit of water that we had, it... I found that it wanted to go into this... channel that I built. Like, all the way down to the end of the fortification. So it was passing by all the water wheel... all the water wheels. I don't know if this is going to apply. 
if we end up with like tons of water. I don't know. But what I did was I dug a channel out here that is on level with the water wheels and then it goes down one more to this area. So this is underneath all of that. It's also sealed. So like this water isn't gonna go anywhere but up, which is what this pump stack is grabbing here. Whenever they finish building it, it will be pulled up and moved through the pump stack to this square right here. And so this is why I built the power that I did. It goes straight from this water wheel down, connects to this gear and to this pump stack. The problem is, if we end up with so much water that it's overflowing that channel that I built and this right here that I built as well, it's going to start going in here and like it will fall down and then it will leak out this way, but I don't think that matters. Okay, I actually don't think it matters. Fairly certain that this end of the pump stack counts as a full wall. So even if it did leak, it's still inside the closed loop system. Because where will it go? It's just gonna fall down right back to the bottom. Thank you, Nesteros. You need to access the side of the pump to build it. They, it's just taking them forever because of the path they have to go down the staircase and across this hall and then like up this staircase to the stockpiles and stuff. Like it's just a long walk. I could shorten it, I guess, but I don't want to. Actually, let's shorten it. That way I can close this off right here. So now these two are stuck, <laughs> which is okay. So I've built an overpass basically because this is going to be where the water is eventually pumped out. I need to cover up the staircase. I need, I need to cover that staircase with the floor so the water doesn't leak through it, but yeah, this is where the water will go and it will connect to my brook. I suppose we need to install a handful of floodgates. Now, this is a sealed path, so... I'm gonna build a floodgate there, there, here, and here. On top of that, we need two more levers. Technically, three more levers. Three levers. Three. It does count as a wall. Cool. Awesome. Yep, now you're stuck, stuck. You better wake up. Okay, you're all stuck, stuck. <laughs> Welcome to the hallway that you are now stuck in. Are you the ones responsible for building levers? I guess let's take this wall down. You should be able to reach it, I think. Are you stuck? These dwarves! Is this dwarf stuck here? Yeah. He's stuck. Why you do that? They finally built it! They're so annoying sometimes. 
dwarves of Ice Bend, the Farley Dweller, now know a few facts about Kia training. Oh, that's cool. Because they trained that Kia. Nifty. All right, so this lever, I'm going to link it to these. So I have no idea what to call these anymore. Um, loop to Brook Connector 1. Loop to Brook Connector 2. So you are linking to both of those. This one is going to link, I guess, to the far one. And then this one will link to this one. This is the con the connector access outer. Connector access inner? I don't know if I linked them to their correct thing or not. Okay, so... Link this one. Oh, we're short mechanisms. No! No! So close! Yet so far. <laughs> it's not take nearly as much time as you thought it would. You can manually lock doors instead of floodgates and small windy passages. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I guess we could. I just am wary of having that be... Like, what... I, I guess we could use a door. Okay, so they already took everything back to where it was supposed to go. Yay. Okay. So... We need... That to be channeled. To Mick, the Human Swordmaster has bestowed the name Ki Wanashthi upon an iron shield. But first we have to build the pump, but I can't build the pump until they build this pump. Headache. I don't want to build everything and dig things because I'm afraid I'm going to put it in the wrong spot because I'm having trouble visualizing this. Okay, so they haven't linked anything. Nothing is linked. I want to take the floodgate out. Oh, hey, look! It's George, the child. <laughs> 18 years old, about to turn into an adult. <gasps> Did it melt? Oh my gosh, it melted. <gasps> this is bad news. Chat, it melted. The brook melted. And we're still building things. I'm not prepared for this yet. I actually, like, really need them to do this quickly <laughs> like right now it melted yes it did problem is if they don't do this quickly we're about to have a flood of water how dare the book betray us doing what we asked it to do but at an inopportune time
Oh yeah, right, that's right, it, it will drain. There it goes! <gasps> oh, you know what? We don't have anybody starting this pump manually. It's gonna flood the cavern. Is that okay? I mean, we could just have it flood the cavern. That could be fun. Okay, if that's the case, we don't have to worry about it at all because no water is going to make it to this system in the slightest. So now we just need to sit here and stare at it like a pot because watch pots never boil. Build faster. Build faster. Build faster. We'll come back. <laughs> cool though. It's nice to see that this is gonna be working. It's still filling back up. Yay, it melted. It melted mid-spring. So it freezes mid-autumn and melts mid-spring. Which way does it flow from? How do we know? Is this the outlet? That's all flowing off the edge? So it really does flow south and north. Sweet! That's easy! It was a 50% chance that, the, that it went the way that I wanted it to! Yay! The time has come for you to take care of your earthly vessel. Thank you for being here, JSOG. Be well! Enjoy the rest of your Monday! Enjoy... I have to take care of my earthly vessel as well, but I really want to finish this task first. Hey! Check it out! They built the thing! You just can't watch it happen. Okay, so now I should be able to stack a pump on top of this because it's got something to sit on. So the water... Here's what happens. So the water is pulled up from here into this pump and out this side. Ideally, this would be closed, and this would be closed here, so it becomes a closed square, which this one will then pump up onto this closed floor. But I have to channel this out, but I can't channel it until they build the pump. This one, so it pumps it here, so... This needs to be channeled. Luckily for us, it flows it flows up north. That's like really good news. Uh, we have a flood. Oh, the cavern's a sea. <laughs> Fun. Looks like the crops maybe still grow, even though they're completely covered in water. I forgot I was doing this. Tis a shallow sea. Where's the maybe it's the lava that's causing such a low frame rate. To 192 dwarves. Is that. Was that from the migrant wave? I didn't expect that many dwarves to join us. I don't have homes for them, or uh, bedrooms for them. Silly dwarves?
So that gives us a bit. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. This whole thing was supposed to be open. I didn't need to fill any of this in. Cool. Okay. So that is going to be filled with granite. And boom, we've got two more bedrooms. I mean, as long as we put down some doors. This is why DF hack would help. You can equalize temperature with a command. Oh, so everything would just automatically unfreeze. Okay, they brought the tube. really long way to have to bring all these pieces, unfortunately. Oop to Brook Connector. It is connected. So we can actually, we don't want to pull that one. We want to pull that one. This one is also connected. Cool. And this one is not connected. How does the game keep getting paused? Am I doing that? When you move magma, it has to update temperatures and they'll slowly warm up to a new temperature. The command makes it happen instantly. Oh, I see. Which one? Is, we pulled this one. Cool. So now... We can put this wall piece back. The effect looks great in theory, but it's got so many buttons and a command line interface. Ooh! <laughs> Yeah, I can understand not wanting to do that quite yet. You gotta first learn this game. Understandable. Alright. Watch this. We're gonna smooth that and I'm gonna build a bridge. A bridge to nowhere. A strange mood. The first one all day. Gobstopper, the Goblin Stopper, has withdrawn from society. Alright, so we're smoothing floors, so that way I can put a bridge under it. You cannot smooth the floors beneath a bridge. It has to be smooth first. Oh, there's a command... Or a UI, not a command line. And can you add it to an existing save? I feel like you all have told me that yes, you can do that. Okay, bridge! Bridgey, 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 bridge. So that bridge is so that way we, we can build over here. And we'll be able to go and connect to this tunnel with all these cool gems and things. I've left them behind. Yay, pull lever. This would be connector access inner. I'm 
realizing I probably should have put these floodgates like up here, but I am not moving them. Ooh, was that someone I just saw? What are you doing? Unconscious. Why are you unconscious? He feels pleasure being near a fine screw pump. Okay, so we're putting a wall here to make our little closed system. I actually need to mine this section right under this unconscious dwarf's feet. I suppose he fell asleep. <laughs> I think he fell asleep. So this one's gonna pull up, dump it here. This one pulls it from here, dumps it there. We have an open space, so I need to channel this section out right there. And then we can build a pump on top of that. I really hope this dwarf wakes up from sleepy time before someone comes and digs that. Will they dig it if someone's sitting on it, I wonder? Or standing on it? Bridge, 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 bridge. Remember when they wouldn't build the bridges? And look, look how easy it is now. Bridges built. What are we gonna build on this side? Kinda has some ideas. I have ideas. I'm so excited to play more. Okay. I think Gobstopper is still picking materials up. Where are you? Here. A legendary appraiser. I wonder what you are doing. What? What did he claim? A carpenter workshop? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I have not had Goblet's visit. Hi there, ever, ever X80. It deleted the message because of the, the, the file name that you typed. It just, it doesn't like links. I am trying to stop looking at you. There we go. Bridge! Bridge done. Now there's a bridge to nowhere. Nifty, huh? <laughs> we could do the same thing on the other side. Not yet. I really want them to finish building the other thing that I'm working on. I'm just refusing to end until I've, I've done this. So, technically, we should put a wall here. It's not really needed, but, like, you know, just in case things overflow, it might actually be needed. So, the water gets dumped here by this pump. So, the next one we want to build is going to bring the water up. No! We're out of materials. I don't know which one we're out of. Enormous green glass corkscrew, green, green glass, not a pipe. What is it called again? It's a tube. And then mechanisms. It might be mechanisms that we're out of. Okay, we're still on the move, picking up the materials. Same problem, bulletproof bullet. <laughs> um, if you're when you type these things, just put instead of putting the actual dot in, just like type D O T, and it won't whack your message. 
Yeah, so they're still picking things up. I don't know where they're going. But hey, the waterfall is working. That's working now. Let's see if it was actually just... an issue with mechanisms? No, we have... Why do we have so many corkscrews? We've got corkscrews. We have tubes. It must be mechanisms. Do we not have glass blocks? No, why is it not letting me build that? It looks like we have everything that we need. Oh. I know what it is. No access means they can't reach it. It's that simple. Okay, so we pump that up through here to there, which means... This pump sack actually has to go like over here. I think we can just fill this in back here. Slate. Everything needs access. Darn you and your access, dwarves. I'm so close to getting this done and like... Ugh, I'm just... I'm getting antsy. I don't want to stop until I do it, but they're taking so long, and half of that reason is because my FPS is abysmally low. <laughs> That's half the reason. Okay. So now they should be able to build it. And then we just have to fill this back in. I don't think I needed to dig this section out, actually. I think we can put that back. It does have to be sealed back up. <laughs> Dalvinar is in under pressure again. Okay. Gobstopper is still picking up materials. I don't know what they are trying to build. Water goes up and here. We've got this connected to power that, so water will get pulled up to here. This one will pull water up to there. This one will pull water up to here. And it'll be closed off. So my screw pump's gonna have to go like right there, but I can't build that until like everything else is completed. Start to notice all the access points built on things in real life for someone to come along and fix it. Oh yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Someone is stumbling around obliviously. Oblivious. It's a mental break. It doesn't seem like things break in Dwarf Fortress, so it's it's not really a big deal to not have access to it. It would be super annoying if things did break, though. <laughs> it 
If things did break, that would be very annoying. It's so close. I wish I could, like, make the game go faster. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, they did deliver an enormous glass corkscrew, so I just need to be patient. Let's, let's watch something else happen for a while. We could decide what we're going to do over here. So I ended up making this a temple and this will be a tavern. And so this is going to be a temple and probably another tavern. So I still need a crafting area. Originally, I was thinking that this would make a nice crafting spot. But then I don't remember who it was, but they were discussing how they tend to break Therefore, up by industry. I thought that would be kind of cool. I'm not really sure how to break it up. I have useless ramps in the main hall. Oh yeah, I know. It's because I just haven't finished digging this out. We actually have three. Like, I haven't even dug out around the pillars yet. <laughs> Actually, we have four. There's even an extra one right there. <laughs> but yeah, George, maybe that stuff will be fixed in time, you know? Still, what are you doing? Still collecting things. They must be picking things on, like, the absolute, complete opposite side of the map. That can, that's the only explanation. Hey, look, they built it while I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so that's gonna go here to this spot. So we need to... Open this up. But first I just want to fill it in from the back? I don't think it matters. It'll just look nice. Now we have to cover the floor. I think, do we? Yeah, because then the water will go back downstairs. It'll just fill it all up. Let's just cover the floor. You, I thought, you thought I wanted the pillars to have ramps around them. Not really. I thought it might be nice. I just... I don't know. Oh, a hatch. Good point. Let's just do that now. Yay, hatches. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's almost there. It's almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. You're hyped. I'm hyped too. This is not even necessary. <laughs> it's not even necessary, but still I want to do it. The real issue. I guess we can just put a door here. Oh, so many doors. Last time we can know if hatches are waterproof. You're pretty sure they are, but you've never tried the specific use case. We shall... figure it out. Oh yes, move your butt. Problem! No power. 
Okay, never mind. Take it out. <laughs> We're gonna have to keep doing the same thing and then just reroute the water around. It's cool. It's fine. Totally fine. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, McRar. How are you doing? Up. Spat out. And then... Brought back around. Totally not ideal. I'm paused again. How do I keep doing this? So close! Go, go. Ugh. Just go, go. We have double my asthma up here. Yeah, I don't think I want this here. We can take it out. Nope, I want them to dig instead. I want them to dig downstairs instead. I don't have any other projects that I can work on. That's not true. We could smooth this. And we could install another bed and some doors. We're also missing a pillar right there. remains. Hi, Snyden! Hello, hello, Snyden! How are you doing? Thank you so much for 18 months. I greatly appreciate that. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you continue to enjoy all the things. The subscription things. Thank you, thank you. Nobody's fallen into the lava yet. No, I had one dwarf eaten by lava because they did not escape in time when they dug the lava. <laughs> when they dug the pit. Gob Stopper, the Goblin Stopper Broker has created Kaz Benno... Kaz Ben... On us. Ghost Tangs this. An almond wood bin. He offers it to Icebund, the Fiery Dweller. Thank you for your legendary wood bin. <laughs> Whatever would I do without it? Gotta put the floor back. We have got a slate that we can put right there. So close to having it done. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we need to channel right there. Do it, do it. Turn back around and do it. Yes. How's it going, Snyden? I hope you're having a nice day today. You're not going to be able to build this. <sighs> Turn back around. Come back. Come back here. You stop. You stop right now. I wonder if the cavern is just like an ocean. Just a bit. <laughs> we maybe are flooding the cavern slightly. <laughs> Oops. It's all good. All because I, I just want them to flood this section while I'm doing repairs, if you know what I'm saying. Hi there! Hi there, Moose! You're back. Welcome back. Oh, I'm Jess. Nice to meet you.
A legendary bin was made. And while you're at it, can you channel this hole? Yes. Yes. Okay. So then we take the screw bump. This way. Finally, it's just about done. So they have to build this real quick. Then we have to close this off. I mean, we don't actually. But I'm going to anyways. Hi, Diesel Lily. I know, Solentre. Solentre is like... I think maybe upset with me because I'm on a little late. But I have to finish this! I have to. I'm going to be really upset like if I don't accomplish this today. Just taking forever. I probably could have shorten this route a little bit somehow. I don't know. Your first time in the stream was just earlier today. Looks like you'll be a recurring visitor. Well, welcome back. You get in trouble for playing late too? I just... I just want to finish the... the thing that I'm working on. Yeah. Let's look at something else for a while. So we don't need we don't need miners to do anything right this moment. So I think I'm taking out this part. This part. We use the stair tool. Remove stair button. That'll give us a little bit more room to work with in here. And again, I don't know what I'm doing down here. I guess we could install a trade depot. I don't know. And then we can smooth the floors. Too true. We could work on planning, but I, I don't know what I want to do yet, so I, I don't want to start planning. I want to sleep on it, you know? Like, how do I want to lay out this fort? I suppose what we could do, actually, is expand the stockpile. <laughs> Yes, you are correct about these pillars down here. <laughs> the queen. Completely decomposed and rotted in the stockpile. We killed the queen today. I don't know if that's something to brag about, but it happened. The mod only changes the picture the game uses for the gooey icons. Ooh, is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? It's not done yet. They have delivered a tube! Okay, so now they should get all the junk out off the floor here. <laughs> Is this where they're storing seeds? I wonder if I have turned off seed storage here. Yeah. So, what is all this? Just empty bags. The letters on the button? It was called ergonomic hotkeys. I don't know, it's been a minute since I looked at the mod list. It's hard to find. Ooh, yeah, I like this better for sure. My dwarves all have something to do now, so that's helpful. They like having things to do.
What are you delivering? I hope you're delivering all the pieces. Enormous copper corkscrew. So that's all smooth. That's everything smooth that we have dug out. Let's assign two more bedrooms. And so while they move this, I wonder if we have some statues that we can place. We do! We have a really nice statue. I don't even know what this is. Guzilanos? Rith Lipazat. You're right, I did not. That's not, that's, I don't really consider that backseating. Um, I think that's just helpful. I also like the shadow that it's got. I think that looks way better than having that ramp. Is it done? Is it done? It's done! Yes! Okay, wait. Before you go anywhere, will you put the wall here? Turn back around, dwarf. Build my wall. I'm pointing at the, the monitor. Turn back around. Or don't. Whatever. Oh, um, they were referring to right here. I hadn't smoothed the floor around these pillars in particular. Cat looks like a doggo. Does it? Okay, like this all should work. Ready. It's ready. Let's just confirm that this is correct. So we got this that goes down underneath here and stores water there. This will Pull the water up. Dump it there. This will pull it here, dump it there. Pull it here, dump it there. Pull it here, dump it here, and it should go around. Ooh, we need one more. One more block. Glad I checked. Or else the water would just go back down endlessly. So, it would just fall in and then come back up and like do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm sure some would go this way, but yeah, we just want to seal this off. And then we've got this connected to here. It should power that and all of them because they're connected via the screw pump. I mean, the stack pump. And then the last thing that I need to do is have a dwarf come here and mine this and like really, 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 really hope that somebody closes the gate in a timely manner. So I think what I should do is probably pull the lever or give the order to pull the lever before they I place the mining order. By the time they mine it and leave, somebody should be here to pull the lever. And we need to pull this one right here. Because this needs to be mined out. I guess we could channel... Um, I was going to say we could channel it from above. But we can't because there's these built on it. Unless I moved those. Jailing it from above will be far easier. Okay, let's just take this out. Hi, 
fully? You can relocate the levers. Yeah, I just did a silly and put it in a pretty bad location. Yeah, I just, I don't want a flood in my fort. That's all. So basically what I want them to do instead is put a gear assembly here. Take both of these axles out, take that out. And build this across, like that instead. I hope they pick these up, or else they're gonna fall in the water. And they'll be lost forever. Alert! A human caravan has arrived. I don't want to deal with the human caravan right now. I'm going to ignore it. Sweet. Okay, so now... We need to make sure to pull... This lever. Connector access outer is this right here. Nectar access inner is not required, but let's pull it anyway, so it should close both of these. There shouldn't be anybody here to get stuck. It's all sealed. And now we're not going to have any water. Okay. At least one gate is pulled. So I'm gonna do that right here. Ooh, and also while we're at that, we're gonna have some issues of not having any water for a minute. Because, you know what? I don't think I should dig that yet. Don't dig this yet. Don't do it. Not yet. Where are the... There they are. Okay. I need dwarves to start running on this now. <laughs> Instead of just letting the water fall into the cavern, because right now the water just... is flooding the cavern. We have a small ocean. I guess it's a lake. It's called a lake. Mud builds character. <laughs> uh, Tiny Pupper, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. And Vanessa Backspace, thank you as well. An hour ago. Alright, so the dwarves have to run on this manually to start these pumping until we have water wheels that are turning, and those should turn... Somewhat imminently, so we're back in business. We are back in business. So what's happening is we've got this right here. We have a brook. The water is coming in this way, moving across these water wheels. The water wheels are turning all these mechanisms to power this screw pump. The screw pump is ga grabbing water from this location and dropping it here. Then all these screw pumps above it are connected by one tile. So they can transfer power to each other as long as they touch. And so I've um, channeled out a section beneath each of these so that they transfer the power. It brings it all the way up. Drops it here. It moves diagonally through the walls, which reduces water pressure, apparently. If it squeezes between walls like that, drops it through this grate. And instead of it falling violently on the dwarves, it mists them. So we have a big misty waterfall that goes all the way down. Until it reaches here. And so there's nowhere for this water to go. So it, it's been going down my useless staircase. It's not totally useless. It's mostly useless. And just dumping into the cavern for a little while. 
<laughs> It'll evaporate. But once we get dwarves working these machines, they're actually grabbing the water as it lands here, pulling it back up through the screw pump and dumping it here instead. So all that water has to go somewhere. It goes this way. And now it's moving along my little tunnel. I have two dwarves that have slipped into a depression. And so what it will do, eventually, I think it would go faster if we had a bit more water. Problem is, the water isn't moving into this crevice fast enough. It's really slow. If I ignore the diplomacy, will... <laughs> will the humans not leave? It's so close. Though it's taking a while, the water's gotta just slowly move its way down. If only we had more frames! Oh! <laughs> it's getting late. IRL is getting late. Okay. There. I, I diplomacied the humans. If only I had more frames is your mantra. <laughs> if only there were more frames. It's getting there. It's so slow. Everyone donate a frame. If everybody donates a frame, this will be done in no time. Ah, it made it! Okay. We're not in business yet. <laughs> not yet. In the meantime, though, these doors are getting a good workout. Ooh, I guess we could build guild halls, couldn't we? I'm ignoring them. This is to be four deep for the water wheels to turn, so my dwarves and human actually are gonna be hamstering for a little while. Would it help to wall up the sides of the water wheel? Yes, but I still wanna be able to access it. And also this is here to help with overflow a little bit. Like, it would work. I just made the decision that I didn't want to close them in like that. I guess we can deal with the caravan for a while. I'm sorry, is that a tavern song I'm hearing? Hey. We're happy again. We have a waterfall and alcohol. Of course we're happy again. It's been a while since since we had a tavern song. Like this this fort, I wasn't sure they were gonna make it. <laughs> they were very upset. So upset that they started killing each other. So in case you were wondering, like, don't 
ignore their well-being for too long. I don't like it when you do that. Okay, I think those gems should be enough to get us whatever we might need. I'm so happy for them. They're happy again. Happy enough to have a tavern song anyway. I just saw like so much miasma. Tell me didn't see that. They're not turning yet. It won't be long now, though. This is completely filled. We're just gonna keep pushing water down. <sighs> it's going down here, too. This might take longer than I realized. <laughs> yeah, so they need 4 deep water in order to turn. And as soon as one starts turning, this is going to be, I think, much faster. Now the problem is the water is going down here. It was supposed to do that, but still. Doesn't it know that I'm already two and a half hours over my stream time? Ooh, I forgot to... Let's build a hatch here real quick. You don't have a hatch. Okay, let's put a floor down. Let's remove construction. Okay, let's build a hatch. What kind of hatches can we make? Rock hatches? Cool. I know, how dare the water go down here? It's cool though. Looks like it's not gonna take too long to fill. As soon as these water wheels start turning, it's gonna begin powering this, and then we can channel out that section on the other side. Not gonna take too much longer. This one's about to start going. They went there for a second, actually. We generated a hundred power. Hi there, Maz! Welcome in, how are you? I'm doing great! Sort of. I'm feeling very impatient because I just really want this to work before I end my stream. And it's taking forever. So I'm, I'm feeling like very antsy in my pants. Antsy in my pantsy. <laughs> but it's almost there. <laughs> nobody clip that. Don't don't say nobody clip that. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Don't say nobody clipped that, because then everybody clips it. Also, if you read the open letter from... I forget who in Twitch. Twitch is planning on implementing, like, a TikTok-like... Some migrants have arrived despite the danger. I think the danger is because I killed the queen. <laughs> By the way, I killed the queen today. 
I'm not leaving until this is finished as a Dwarf Fortress equivalent of just one more turn. It is, right? Yeah, Twitch Shorts. So, similar to YouTube Shorts. And... Um... TikTok. Like, TikTok scrolling. Twitch is going to... Or they say on their roadmap, they plan on... Implementing... Something similar. So that... You can start browsing clips. And if that's the case, it's gonna be epic. Like, if they do it right... High quality clips are gonna be so worth it. Which is for live streams. They tried uploads before and gave up on it. So, the thing is that short form media that's super easy to consume, like shorts, YouTube shorts, anything on TikTok, it's so popular. And, like, all these clips that people make just sit in a database. Like, on my end, I've got it. Right? I've, like, I have my clip database, but Twitch does nothing with those. And so, like, implementing a, a clip browser, theoretically, if done correctly, could be, like, really big. I wonder what the humans have. You hate shorts? Uh, they're not for everybody, but shorts like that are extremely popular. You just be happy to search by category and date. I know, right? How do you how can you not search by game or by date? It's bonkers to me. Like, it's so straightforward. I just don't get why you can't do that. A blue peacock! A cockatiel! Their rules, I take. Nobody hit right-click. I'm gonna pick my finger off the right-click button so I can't accidentally right-click and close the trade menu because I do that all the dang time. <laughs> Forty-two thousand. They brought a lot of leather, all right. Ooh, I don't want that one. That's too pricey. I'm not buying cloth for 700 dwarf bucks. Or 800 dwarf bucks. Or 900 dwarf bucks. like a thousand dwarf bucks. No way. I'm buying some of the more expensive leathers because it'll probably have stuff in it that like when we have strange moods we wouldn't normally be able to find. Large gems. I know, Solentry. Don't look at me like that. I feel it. Splints and crutches. Uh, okay, what are we going to sell? You want like 13,000 monies. Is that so? What all do we have in this box? We do have raw stuff in there that I don't want to sell. Most of the cost is the bin, yeah. These green zircons are worth so much, it's great. Bugs! Puzzle boxes, splints, take a bracelet, take a hemp quiver. An obsidian bracelet. Not that, that's 
something fancy. Take these quivers, I don't know where I got them from. Alright, let's see if they'll be happy with, like, 1400. The journey must be profitable. Okay, I don't want them to have all that. No, no, no. No, no. There. They added more stuff. Don't take my instruments. Or my splint. I'm literally buying splints from them. Why would I give them splints? Dun, dun, dun. There we go. There, I've done it. I've traded. All right. That was my little side project that ended up taking all day coming along. This is full now, so it's not gonna fill up anymore with water. So the wheels should start turning. Water wheel isn't active. It needs 494 power to start turning. Oh! It's close. Very close indeed. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. I don't think this should overflow. Um, it looks like it started for a second. Once the wheels start going, this is going to be super quick. I think. What was that? I have two people who are fighting. Oh, in the tavern, sure. know what that was. Oh, someone's throwing a tantrum. Got it. The soundtrack plays in your dreams. Oh, I dream of Dwarf Fortress. It is almost done. Almost there. We actually added, like, a higher need for power on this now. Because of this whole other system. So I think it would have been running with what we had before. Mm, there it goes. This part's moving now. Hey, check it out! It looks like the hatch is indeed waterproof. I'll be dreaming of numbers on a blue background by the end of this. If only water moved faster. It'd be nice if I could speed the game up, but we're down to 19 FPS. If anything, the game is getting slower. Ah, I see. Nobody's turning this right here. It started going on its own for a bit, so they stopped, and... Now we need people to get back on it. Just download more RAM to make it go faster. Yeah, the pressure's low. I... I did that on purpose? Now I want it to go more faster. I want the water to move more faster. Even fewer frames! I 
there, he Helix? We have hack. <laughs> we might have 500 cavern invaders slowing down the game. Yeah, maybe I'll just break down and finally get it. It's just so close to doing what I want it to. It's almost reached the end. So what is happening is the water's coming down, turning the wheels, and as soon as the wheels start turning, these screw pumps begin pulling water out of the tunnel up, which means the water then diverts this way and lowers the level here. So like all the wheels stop turning. Um, it'll work itself out soon. Rockfield, the human axe lord, has bestowed the name Os Blekusith upon an iron battle axe. I just basically need this water to reach right there, and then we'll be good. Is the 10,000 food items? No. It's definitely water and magma. That's definitely it. I don't have a hatch. And people are using the well. How dare they use the well? As soon as it starts turning, they give up on the job. But then as soon as they give up on the job, it stops turning. <laughs> the irony. It's getting too high and they run away. I don't know if that's it, actually. Oh, like here, maybe it's getting too high? Hmm. Maybe. Let me pause for a second. I'm gonna try just to open this up, so there's less water pressure. More water pressure, I should say. Okie dokie. If we smooth the walls around the pumps, then it will stop dripping into the room. I'm going to reduce the pressure. Increase the pressure! <laughs> Wait, what? More pressure. Why are they fighting? Stop fighting, everybody. No brawling. Yeah, I'm increasing the pressure because I'm impatient. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. What could go wrong? Nothing. Literally nothing. Bowl of dwarf blood. It's so painfully slow. Water gets to four next to the pumps. But yeah, I mean, it's supposed to. Uh oh. Game stop. No crash. No crash! If it crashes, I'm rage quitting. <laughs> Three FPS! No! Oh my gosh. It's staying steady. Nope, it dropped. Okay, pretty much what I've decided to do is just dig these little corners out. Just so the water will move a little bit faster. So then... It gets depressurized through here, but I'm hoping that it will just, like, go somewhere else quicker. Because, yeah, it is getting backed up where we're pulling the water up and then dumping it. Filling back up here. Let's just, like you said, let's smooth everything. To help with the water problem. Take out those depressurizers too. It's gonna be a lot of work. anything about that one. Can't do anything about that. Uh, let's see, so... Oops, don't mind that. No, no, no. It could also be rewarding. I am giving it a go. We're just aquifer proofing everything real fast. With our 17 FPS. This is very frustrating. It makes me just want to like walk away and go to the bathroom while this is happening. <laughs> How's the water coming along up here? It's getting there. This is taking so long. for a few minutes, or a minute, really. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Have fun watching this move at the speed of a snail.
is the game still running? <laughs> is it still going? Did things happen? It seems like it. I guess we actually want to start this from the back. So Salantre is like, Jess, you've been almost done for like two hours. You should stop playing. And I was like, no, Salantre, I'm really almost done. <laughs> and he's just like, that's what you've said for two hours. <laughs> In order to like issue any commands, I have to pause the game. <laughs> Jess after dark. Hi, Vin. <gasps> the cat is gone. He finally woke up. Ivan, yeah, uh, I'm on late. Because Adderall plus Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> How are you? It's good to see you. Who is bleeding? Are you bleeding? No, healthy? Where did that blood just come from? You're listening to the podcast, Jess, and now you're watching live, Jess. What did you think of the podcast? Flow, water, flow. Okay, lastly, we want to dig it out right here. Both Jesses were talking about Dwarf Fortress. This Jess has a problem. Unleash the water! Oh yeah. I think it's moving faster now. I'm fairly certain it's moving quicker. And the FPS went up a little bit. Clearly, we just needed more water more faster. And it's starting to go off the edge. Okay, has this reached anything yet? No, it hasn't. Same issue, like I kind of want to get rid of this. I wonder if I can get a dwarf- No, there's no way I can get a dwarf down here. I might be able to get a dwarf down there. Let's try it. No, be patient. If we turn off the temperature in game options, we might get more FPS. Hey there, Madge Dragons. I'm... I'm willing to try it. <gasps> the game was paused. I was like, 50 FPS? Oh, right. <laughs> they can move through water. I know they can. Okay, fine. Let's try it. It could be bad news. Plus, if we turn temperature off, the brooks won't freeze come winter. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. I'm definitely not playing in 4K, don't worry about that. Like, this is half the problem. You see how, like... There's just not enough water here? The 
this thing pulls the water up and then it's gone and so it's not moving con consistently oh oh the floodgates are open didn't even notice Yeah, so the water is running right off the edge of the map. I have another idea. And I should be able to reach that. Alright, I've got a dwarf on a mission to go mine out this corner and hopefully they don't drown. FPS ain't bad, that's what we normally play, because you're slow and you like to see your dwarves walk around instead of teleporting. I found that like 50 or 60 is a good speed. It's too deep. <laughs> they gave up. Okay. Whatevs. We pull levers. I feel like they should be able to exit the tunnel before the levers get pulled, right? It just became too deep. I made huge progress today! I did damage Carbine, I know! And I can't stop playing and it's a problem! So what I want to do now is stop the water from flowing off the edge of the map. Your pitch. All right, there goes somebody. Our human bard is off to go and take something apart. So I guess we could actually leave the gear mechanism. And from there, I want to build a wall right here out of diorite. So I'm hoping that's just going to plug the hole that the water is flowing through. It's deep enough for them to be in. Yeah, now the water can't escape. <laughs> so it just stopped flowing out and backing up. We're gonna have the sun in no time. No time at all. Uh, Mad Mad's Dragons, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Also, 8-Bit Gecko, self-taught life. Have a good night as well, Damage Carbine. I'm on way too late, like... I'm committed, though, at this point. I'm committed to it. <laughs> I hope you have a good night. I'm on three hours late. Yeah, it's, it's filling up back here. Perfect. What am I making? Um, I'm trying to make a looping water system. So basically, I've got this down here. We have like a brook that I connected my fort to. So the brook comes this way into the fort, runs over some water wheels, turns the water wheels and powers the screw pump and a whole bunch, a whole stack pump all the way up all the way up the fort, dumps that water here, and the water runs through all of these little diagonal squeezes and down through the grates, and creates mist 
throughout the entire fort, basically. All the way through the fort. And the doors really like mist. It makes them super happy. So I've been working on this for a while. Uh, so eventually, it hits this location where it has nowhere else to go. So that's where these come in. These pumps pull the water from here and dump it on the other side, where it then wraps around and into this hallway. And then it runs over the water wheels, turns the water wheels, but that's where I'm having some trouble. <laughs> turns the water wheels. The water wheels power this right here, which power the pumps. So like this will work once the water wheels start turning. But then I had the issue where the water was running off the edge here. And I also now have this tunnel that I built. So that I could have a secondary system to pump water up to this floor. This is going to be the return. So now it should be a closed loop. And it's so close. It just needs to connect. Like, and, and then we should have, like, so much water. It just needs to do that thing. We're getting very close. Like... As soon as we have enough power... Like, this starts to work. And that pulls water away from the water wheels. Probably not the best place to put this little... Access accessory drainage thing. Oh, hi, Emmy. Dog. Is doggo cam not working? No, doggo cam working. Yeah, it is like free energy. Just gotta work first. OMG, just stay on the pumps. I think what happens is the water wheels like start turning and then they're like, oh, we don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> or something. The main fort looks like... Yes, I would consider this the main fort by now. We still don't fully live in it yet. Not completely. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> This is where I moved my... Where I intend to move the dwarves. It's a really big hall. It's like six levels deep. It looks down on everything. And then this is the temporary fort, which I think is causing a lot of issues as well because there's so much line of sight. And for some reason, I don't know why, but line of sight causes issues. And look at them all. What is this? A heart. A prepared shark heart. I don't even, what are they all doing? Leading a biting demonstration. Tell you what. What? What is that? Pen slash pasture. I wasn't supposed to ever be there. I don't think. I put that there for a reason. I did a long time ago. For cats, because this used to be a stockpile. I want to put the barracks over here instead. And get rid of this one. I somehow think this should help in some way. So they'll stop being in the middle of the room, and so maybe that'll help. <laughs> Entertaining to watch me trying to do this? I think I'm gonna have like nightmares about this later. What happens if I move the inlet into the water re upper farther down the line of the water wheels? 
like right over here. Yeah. I wondered that too, but it's it would be really hard to change. It would be very difficult to change. I mean, we could go up here and like channel one section and then channel it again. And then fill this in. But I think that is probably the answer. However... This is almost meeting here. In fact, it might be worth it to try and channel this out. Because yes, this water will spill over, but then it's going to meet in the middle. And it will equalize. And we have an endless pressurized source of water on the other end. But I don't know. We shall see. Oh, you're going to be stuck down there. Okay. Gonna be stuck. That dwarf might be dead. <laughs> you might be dead too. I don't know how you intend on getting out of there. I don't think it's going to cause any issues either. I was waiting until the water had mostly made it here because otherwise it was going to just spill down this way and we'd have an even worse issue of getting water up through the fort. But because this is pressurized, I think it should move fairly quickly. It won't be long until they meet in the middle and there's nowhere for the water to go. Except up in depth. <gasps> they touched? Is it working? <gasps> it's halfway running on its own. It's almost good to go. Almost. Almost. This would be a lot faster, too, if we had gotten this corner dug out. Pretty to look at. Hi, Double Forte. Seeing all this water reminded you you saw in the workshop today a training pool mod to help cut out the learning curve of digging a swimming pool yourself. <laughs> you had your first old person scoff moment. It wasn't so bad to to learn how to do it. It's kind of cute though. So close, so close, so close, so close, so close! I can see all of this working as it's supposed to. And it comes back down how it's supposed to. Yeah, see this is filling up. Not the worst thing, actually. <gasps> the ghostly wrestler has risen to haunt the fortress! Still playing the Rimworld clone. Yep, sure am. Still playing the Starn Rimworld clone. How's it going, Woofer? It's almost 
was there. Things are going good. Nice. I'm on way too late, Woofer. I'm on so late. I'm just, I'm being so stubborn. I really want to get this finished. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. It's a long stream. I know. I know. Solandre is like, not mad at me. <laughs> but has definitely like, rolled his eyes at me. Like you've said, you're almost done for two and a half hours. <laughs> I know. I know. I just expected this to be, like, much more... Uh, quick. We're up to 30 FPS. I almost feel like the water making its way down... Down the path was eating a lot of it. I got the fortress disease. Pillow Nova, I need help. I can't stop. <gasps> Ooh, are they turning on their own? They kind of are. I saw it. I saw it for a second. We just need... slightly more. Ubul, the Axe Lord, has bestowed the name Il Tangadin upon an iron battle axe. Now that it's almost working, can I give a brief overview of what I've done and why this project? Well... First... I wanted a waterfall in my fortress. <laughs> first, I wanted a waterfall in the fortress. That was the first thing to deal with, was this. Once I got the waterfall in the fortress built, I realized, well, the water has to go somewhere in the fortress. So I started building the drain system down here. And once I started building the drain system, I realized, hey, this is a great way to harness some water power. So we built more water wheels and some water power. And afterwards, realized, hey, when winter comes around, the brick freezes, so we should probably make this a closed loop system. <laughs> so that's what I did here. I gave it a return, so that way, we can just move, cycle water through the fortress. And that's pretty much the whole thing. It's ended up being hours and hours and hours of work. <laughs> Thanks, Lang, but like it's... I'm, I'm being really stubborn about it today. Is a Solentre? Too depressed? Valinar is too depressed to drink? Oh no! Okay, something must be really wrong with Valvinar. I know, Emmy. Haggard, hungry, and thirsty. Well, you're too depressed to drink. I did tell them to make clothes. I think they finished that. Let's have them make... Like another set of 30 trousers. Let's have them make... Oh my gosh, that's three times today I've dealt- I've clicked Assemble Adamantine Ballista Arrow. Leather shirt. <laughs> that was a bad typo. Um, leather shirt. And I guess we did... That, is that four or five times I've clicked that? Leather shoes. I haven't made shoes. Like, we need 50 shoes or something. Do I need gloves? Y'all let Jess keep playing. Yeah, this is clearly chat's fault. Clearly Chat's fault, JSOG. Solentre is like kind of upset with me. <laughs> Not really. But kind of. More like he's disappointed in me and my inability to stop playing this game. 
It's just, it, we're so close. It's nearly there. Are these turning? They are halfway turning. We're just bouncing right there on the total power needed. We keep hitting it and then unhitting it. And that is because as soon as we get power, this water gets pulled up. And once that happens, there's not enough water to turn the water wheels. Bad planning. Bad planning. <gasps> Ooh, what if I did... I'm not gonna mess with it. That's how you don't stop playing even more. So like if you if you see it's starting to overlap. I think once it hits like level three throughout here, it was bouncing around level one. Now it's bouncing between one and two. Once it gets to three, I think we'll be good. Also, we know we can make a hatch. Why the heck have I, haven't I made a hatch here? Why hasn't anyone made a hatch yet? Nobody's made it? Nobody- I mean, nobody's verified the order. I wonder if it has to do with the fact that eyesight's been an issue? We'll switch Alistair back to managing. Because nobody's validated the work order. Is it the sustainability to stop or the ability to see project to completion? I really want to see the project to completion. That's what it is. I don't think you can put a hatch on an upstairs. Well, I wouldn't be able to anyway because... What is going on? I've just been ignoring this. I shall continue to ignore. You can, but it will cut off access to the stairs above it. Water is mostly going in here. Because they're that okay, this is half the problem as well. They keep stopping pumping. I wish I could tell them just keep pumping no matter what. I don't care if this starts working on its own. Continue pumping. They get sleepy. I don't care. <laughs> I need my project to be completed, double forte. Yeah, Discoda, I know. It has actually been 9 hours and 12 seconds by the time I saw your message. It's cancelling, though. That's actually the issue. It's not that they're tired. It's that as soon as they, like, start running on it, I think we get enough power to run the water wheel. And then they stop because it's running itself. I will sit here and babysit them. I will dwarf sit them.
They know the limits of the job description. Almost done. I have to see my project completed. Don't be mad at me. Any second now, this will work. Okay, any second. How did you get in here? Why are they hauling schist? I guess they were able to access it from the ramp that's right here. But still. You've lost four forts to giant blue jays. Oh my gosh. It's turning on its own. And then it stopped. So close. This worked until I added the extra power requirement. I really feel like I should probably... Oh! I just figured out what I could do. I just figured it out. It requires taking this out. This also affects our power requirement, too, so it's worth taking it out anyway. Let's build a wall here. Water at this location. What? Oh my gosh, really? I gotta blow my nose. Maybe, George. Maybe. There's still water at this location. If you build a floodgate, it, it defaults to being open, right? Or does it default to being closed? It's still blocked. They start closed. Okay, well, I had an idea. But I didn't realize you couldn't build where water is like this. If we can't get it in like 10 minutes, I will stop. You can't build on two out of seven deep water. I'll loop my water back around. <laughs> Again. Okay, so I wanted to close that, but I guess that's not going to happen.
We almost have everything in place. Like, it's it's coming together. here and we'll find out if we break the stairs or not <laughs> we will find out we'll put a hatch on that because that's been bothering me a little bit Is there any way that we can stop the water from reaching here? Not really, right? It's just going to continue to fill this one tile up because it's at the very front of the whole system. I was kind of sort of hoping that I could close this here and have the water at the end fill this reservoir. But at the same time, I think this is helping. Although I'm uncertain if it is or not. Because now the water that passes by is still being rerouted. That's a turbo charger pump ring thingy stop pumping. This? Yeah, let's just have a big flood. Because <laughs> that's what's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> Flooding! All the water will go this way. Is there anybody in the basement that's stranded? Yep. Just a couple kids. They're stranded. I won't leave them there for too long. With that hatch in place, the water is literally just overflowing. Famous last words. Oh, it's so gonna work. This is so gonna work. It's gonna work. Right? I can't open the hatch now. Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> no, never! It's gonna work, George! Hi, Infinity! Yeah, I'm on way too late. I gave myself 10 minutes to fix it. Has it been 10 minutes yet? Oh, we just hit level 5 right here. It's happening. It's about to start working. I'm also late. You lost track of time and you're getting... You're late getting your kitty, kiddo red for bed. Your kiddo ready for bed. Wow. What are words? That's... That's not good, Paw Prince. I'm sorry to be a bad influence. I'm sorry! It doesn't work with the hatch there. <laughs> it's gonna work. I'm pumping more and more water into a space that isn't ready for it. Oh, I know! I know, George. I know. I understand what I'm doing. For the most part. Since these things won't pump, I'm just gonna let the water overflow. The water is going to fall down and just overflow into all these little channels we, we made. Yeah, look at that. The 
the area gets full enough, there's no flow. Everything will stop dead. So it won't. This whole area here is carved in fortifications. So if it gets too backed up, it, it will drain. Either that or everything's ruined. We'll see. We just need to get this working before the water freezes. Oh, what's this I see? A stray yak has been found starved to death. It's almost going! Boom! The wheels on the water wheel are going round and round. Yes, they're working! Now... We can open the hatch! Huzzah! And so, yeah, the hatch does work. Mid-staircase. Camera's- I didn't realize the camera's off. The hatch does work. Mid-staircase. And so now the pumps are pumping the water out over the hatch. And they're throwing it back downstairs. Where it is now turning the water wheels. Everything is working! Yes! I knew it! The hatch was the answer. Because the... The cavern was getting all the water. <laughs> Here it is. Here's all the water that we needed. It just required a little bit of brute forcing. So the water wheels should continue to move. They're they're bouncing like back and forth on it. And this water is full as well, so it's just going to wrap itself back around and meet up here, and I believe we now have infinite water. Sort of. I think there's a, a few circumstances where that wouldn't be true. Like, if we were to... have the river freeze right now, I, I don't know that we'd be able to get this working again. But the hatch, I don't know why I didn't think of the hatch sooner. The hatch was the answer. Because they can move through it if the water is low enough. If the water is too thick, it just closes and it overflows back into the system. So like if this becomes too full, all these tiles fill and then overflow over the edge, back down to the side. <sighs> Somebody's drowning. <laughs> Somebody's drowning! It's SBG! SBG is drowning! It didn't have to happen, why are they here? I got it working. It's working. Also, why don't they just walk down... I guess they can't walk. Because it's too... it's too thick. Too... the water's too high. Too deep. There we go. So they can't move. I don't know how to help them. I don't think there is any helping them. The N07 means there's no air between the floor and the ceiling. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, they're up! What took them so long? <laughs> they left. Don't go down there again. Don't do it. I locked the hatch. They shall not pass. Hi, Starlock! 
<gasps> Chad, I'm glad that we fixed it. It's working. And it should not stop working. Total power? 1,000! Yes! It's working. Huzzah! It's the hatch to the rescue. I know, we can power so many millstones with this. We can. So, yeah, we got water. I pulled a hatch trick. <laughs> I did. We got water. It goes up, 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 there is a hatch there to catch the water so it stops falling into the caverns. I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. If it backs up too much so that dwarves cannot pass through it, the hatch just stays closed. And at that point, it will overflow back up through the gate, past the pump stacks, and um, back down into here. Which is exactly where I need it to go. It then passes through these um, water wheels, powering the whole system. And so here we have got another set of machines moving water up into this hallway pathway thing here. Oh, the dwarven caravan arrived. And it comes back around and meets the brook. And the whole thing starts over. Yay! We did it. Note to self, don't bet against me in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> I win. 